everybody, welcome back to Megan Casey Guitar. Here is a part two of a tutorial I started recently on basic strumming patterns. So this is Intro to Strumming Part Two, and this goes along with a worksheet that you can find on my website, megancaseyguitar.com, and the worksheet is titled Intro to Strumming. So last time we did um, numbers one, two, and three. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go look it up because you probably want some background before you jump into this part two. So we're going to start on the fourth strumming pattern. And just to review the idea, we want to have our arm in continuous motion, and these are going to fill up the four underlying beats in our measure. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to fill that up with eight counts. So these are called eighth notes. So I'm going to use the C chord today. So you can think of it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that is your bass line. That's what you want to get your arm used to doing. And if you look at my hand, my wrist is mostly still. My elbow is the one doing the work here. So, so this particular strumming pattern, we have two. So if you saw this written out, it would say down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up. So what's happening here is there's an airstroke on the fourth beat. So when I say airstroke, I mean your hand moves in the way that it normally would, except for you miss the strings on purpose. So I'm going to do this in slow motion. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up. So if the numbers are attached to that, it's one, two, three, and, and, one, two, three, and, and, one, two, three, and, and. Now notice in the beginning we've got these slower down strums, and remember, there is kind of just an invisible airstroke that happens naturally between down strums because we have to get our hand back to the low strings anyway. So that kind of exists, but I don't think you have to think about it as much as the airstroke on the down that happens on beat four. So let's just do this a bunch of times. Here it is. Down, 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 up, up. together quickly. Let's change to an A minor. We'll go back and forth between those two chords. Got to see. So you know you've mastered it. One, if you can do it without playing along with me, and if you can connect them together. It's pretty common in the beginning to be able to mimic it once, but it's playing it in succession within a song that you really have mastered it. So don't move on until you got it. You might just want to stop with that one today. Um, I'm going to play it a little bit faster. Let's use a D chord. Really changing it up today. So here it is. Our tempo is going to be one, two, three, four. <laughs> so yeah, that was pattern number four on that worksheet. And let's do number five. Number five is, all of these are pretty much relatives of each other, so there's just small variations between them. So let's uh, pick a basic chord. <laughs> why, is, why is this so hard? <laughs> e minor. E minor is a basic chord. Okay. So number five. This one, the second beat... So that airstroke is happening on beat three. Three. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So you've got the 
those two up strokes in a row. If you're not doing your air strokes and you're trying to do the two ups in a row, it's just super awkward. It's like people stop at the bottom and they just get really tripped up and it, it does, it's the difference between an experienced guitar player and a beginner. And it's super easy to hear. And to the beginner ear, it's like, what am I doing wrong? Like I'm doing the same strumming pattern as they are. Why do I sound ridiculous? This is why. So one, two, and we've all been there. We've all sounded ridiculous. Don't feel bad about it, but this is how you fix it. One, two, better slow it down a little bit for you. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up. You can see my air stroke. I just messed up. <laughs> two, and four. One, two, and, and four. Down, down, up, up, down. I taught my six-year-old how to do E minor to A, and I hear that all the time now. Just like all she can do. <laughs> so I'm annoyed with that chord progression at the moment. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. That's it. Now here's the real test. Go back and see if you can do the number four. One, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and. And then try number five after it. reality of it is, is sometimes if you're seeing an experienced musician play live, they might switch around between these and not even realize they're doing it just because they kind of let their hand flow. So what you want is to get all of these just really built into your muscle memory. And obviously that takes a lot of repetition. So get at it. If you're watching this in real time, we're still under quarantine and hopefully some of you have some extra time on your hands. I have children, so my life is busier than ever, so you're welcome for this video amidst the chaos, but I hope everyone's keeping in good spirits and taking care of each other. And thank you for watching and for subscribing. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.